I live about 30 minutes away from the Sundance Ski Resort in Utah, originally built and still owned by Robert Redford, the great actor and director. And it's where parts of the famous Sundance Film Festival are held every year. Robert Redford loves his resort. He actually spends a fair amount of time at Sundance. If you live in Utah County long enough, you have a pretty good chance of actually running into the man. One day, a woman was at a local ice cream parlor there in Utah. And while she was waiting in line to get her ice cream cone, she hears the bell on the door ring behind her, turns around, and in walks Robert Redford himself. She gets very excited, but she decides, you know what? I'm a grown woman. I'm not going to bother the man, ask him for his autograph, anything else. I'm just going to let him have his ice cream in peace. She left the ice cream parlor feeling very pleased with herself that she didn't talk to Robert Redford. Then she looked around and realized she didn't have her ice cream cone. Hadn't dropped it anywhere, ran back to the ice cream parlor, asked the guy behind the counter, did I leave my ice cream cone here? He said, no, you took it with you. Then she feels a tap on her shoulder, turns around, and there's Robert Redford. He says, ma'am, I believe your ice cream is right where you left it. It's in your purse. <laughs> what was Robert Redford giving her? Information to help her align her actions with that one goal of finding the ice cream cone. And that's all feedback is. Easy to say, a little more difficult in practice. Some of the big complaints we've heard about feedback from participants in the past is feedback that isn't timely, it comes too late, or feedback that doesn't come at all, not enough regular consistent feedback. Feedback that is vague, that's inaccurate, that's unfair.